wide sargasso sea. What is sargasso? Well, it is a kind of seaweed, you know, algae, which covers a water body. And it is so dense hoti hai, that actually you can think that you can walk on it. The ships, they think that they can float over it. But the reality is that the ships, they sink, they get caught up. That is what White Sargasso Sea is all about. The characters in this novel are caught up. They are caught up between race, ethnicity, sex, post-colonialism. There's so much happening in this novel. It's a beautiful one. This is Hina from Team Tess. And today we shall study the capsule summary of Wide Sargasso Sea. This was published in 1966, written by Jean Rees who lived from 1890 to 1979. Well, she is a Dominican British author, which means she is British, but then she was born and brought up in Dominica. Dominica, you know, is an island nation in the Caribbean, okay? And this novel, White Sargasso Sea, is a feminist prequel to Jane Eyre. You remember Jane Eyre, the 1847 novel by Charlotte Bronte? Well, here in White Sargasso Sea, Jean has re-evaluated the character of Bertha. Bertha, you know, the insane wife of Rochester, whom Rochester had locked away in the room, you know, on the third floor of their house. This is what is the story of Jane Eyre. White Sargasso Si Me Kya Hai? I'll tell you very soon. Let's start. Well, the setting of this novel is 1830s Jamaica and England. They go, Dominica ki jage, Jamaica le lo. Jamaica, again, is an island nation in Caribbean. Okay. There are three parts in this novel. We shall start with part one, which is Antoinette's narration. Who is Antoinette? She is the protagonist of the novel. Antoinette Cosway is a young girl of mixed ethnicity, which means her mother is a Creole, while father Welsh. Creole kya hote hai? Well, they are Europeans who are born in the Caribbean, okay? They are white, but they are born in the Caribbean islands. And father, Welsh. Welsh is Wales, England, okay? Now, Antoinette lives in a dilapidated mansion called Calibri Estate in Jamaica with who all? Her mother, Annette, younger brother, Pierre, who is mentally disabled, and a black nurse, Christophine. And Christophine practices obia, which is voodoo-like black magic. Up in India, we say kala jadu. So, the nurse at Christophine, she practices kala jadu or obia, which is very common in the Caribbean, okay? Which was very common at that time, right? Now, what about Antoinette's father? Antoinette's father, Mr. Alexander Cosway, drank himself to death five years ago. When Emancipation Act of 1833 freed black slaves, sinking white slave owners like Alexander into heavy debt. Abhi samaj mein aagya pura scene. Alexander Cosway's family basically held slaves, okay? But because of this Emancipation Act, the slaves were freed and families like Alexander's went into debt. They lost all their money. And because of this, Alexander died. So, abhi family mein sirf Antoinette hai, mummy Annette hai, brother Pierre hai, aur ek black nurse hai, Christophine. Easy? Let's talk about mummy Annette. Annette is depressed after the death of her husband. She talks to herself, neglects her daughter, faces hostility from her black servants who address her as white cockroach. Now, let me tell you, ye bhi badi problem hai. You know, if you're a Creole, if you were a Creole at that time, you were not looked up to by the black servants. No, they did not consider you superior because you were ultimately born in Caribbean. You were ultimately born in their place of birth. Okay. So now, onto a net ki koi bhi friends nahi hai. She is also neglected. She can feel the despair in her house. They were rich, but now they are no more rich. The servants don't respect them. Antoinette has only one friend, Tia. Tia is the daughter of a servant. But something unfortunate happens. One day, Tia runs away with Antoinette's money and clothes. So Antoinette has nothing to wear. She wears Tia's torn clothes. And looking at this, Annette is depressed further. This depresses Annette's mother further. And she resolves to lift her family out of poverty. 
कैसे होगा एट दैट टाइम बाई मैरिंग अ रिच मैन दैट इज वॉट एन इट डिड वेल शी सून मैरीज मिस्टर मेजिन अ वेल दी इंग्लिश मैन बट नाउ Mr Mason is an English man he is unable to understand Jamaican culture and its problems related to race and ethnicity after their marriage Mr Mason gets Calibri estate renovated and as good as new because of which there is great dissatisfaction among the newly freed servants and one night out of jealousy out of anger these black servants this mob sets Calibri to fire onto an its houses gone fire pierre dies soon afterwards while antoinette recovers from a severe fever after 6 weeks only to realize that her estranged mother has been sent away under the care of a black couple to help her recover from insanity antoinette is all alone her mother is sent away her brother is dead what does the poor girl do disoriented onto a net enrolls in an all girls convent school she lives there for many years under the care of nuns learning proper dressing good behavior and about tortured histories of female saints and while at the convent she hears about her mother's death can you imagine and you know there is one incident in the novel onto a net goes to visit her mother her mother looks like a ghost her mother literally hits her she is scared of her mother but then as i told you she hears about her mother's death and that her mother was sexually assaulted by her caretakers now time moves on when onto a net turns 17 years old her stepfather mr mason arranges her marriage with an english man who is coming to visit jamaica ab wapas bhai hoga ye jo english man hai he will not be able to understand the jamaican culture he will not be able to adjust right abhi is dauran na antoinette is getting some nightmares she has visions she has this recurring nightmare about a stranger leading her through the woods and up the flight of stairs antoinette dreams about some series some staircase she does not know what it is and she feels that there's a stranger Here we are done with part one of White Sargasso Sea. Now part two. Here it is the husband's narration. Who is the husband? Antoinette's husband. And let me tell you, he has no name. He is referred as the husband. So, अभी जब भी मैं बोलूँगी the husband, think of him as Antoinette's husband. The husband marries Antoinette only for money. Okay. Now note. consider the husband as jane eyre's mr rochester an english gentleman okay jane eyre you know rochester bertha husband and wife rochester actually locks up bertha up because she is an insane wife bertha has no voice lekin abhi idhar white sargasso see me onto a net ko voice di gayi hai okay so now what happens the husband marries onto a net only for money he and onto a net honeymoon on the island of grand boy near jamaica in antoinette's inherited estate but the husband feels uncomfortable among the black servants and particularly with christophine the nurse because he feels that christophine with the obia magic that's not very good he finds antoinette beautiful but strange matlab husband ko apni wife beautiful to lagti hai attractive to lagti hai but definitely she is strange okay after a short span of passionate romance with his wife one day the husband receives a letter from a man called daniel cosway kon hai ab daniel cosway kon ho sakta hai cosway cosway daniel cosway claims to be late cosway's illegitimate child with a slave which means onto a net ka half brother ho gaya ya phir alexander cosway ka illegitimate beta right Now this letter which Daniel Cosway sends to the husband is venomous why it warns the husband that madness runs in onto an its family's blood everyone in onto an its family is mad okay he even blackmails the husband since he knows that the husband married onto an it only for money you know he actually wants money from onto an it also from the husband also this person himself is venomous but then now you know he's trying to disturb their life 
Now what happens following this? The husband becomes cold and distant with Antoinette. Sensing this coldness, Antoinette begs Christophine, her nurse, to use Obia to make the husband love her again. Kala jadu use karo taki mera pati mujhe wapis pyaar kare. Reluctantly, Christophine agrees and gives her a bottle filled with magic love potion. Kya isse kuch hoga? Kuch nahi hoga. Let's listen. The following night, the husband and Antoinette argue passionately and he demands to know the truth about her past. She tells him of her father's drunken death, Calibri's burning, Pierre, the brother's mental estate, mental state, and her mother, Annette's descent into madness. Abhi isse sunne ke baat to husband is 100% sure that this family is mad, okay? Madness runs in their veins. Something strange happens after this. The husband, for reason unsure, begins to call Antoinette Bertha. And this disturbs her. She says in the novel, don't call me Bertha. I'm not Bertha. That is not my name. The following days are disturbing for the couple. They torture one another. How? The husband sleeps with a servant named Amelie. And angered, Antoinette runs away from the house. She returns with Christophine several days later. And after this, the husband decides that they must leave Jamaica and they should proceed towards England. So, now we will England where part 3 of the novel will start. Ho jayega, right? In part 3, it is revealed that the husband has logged onto Annette against her will in the attic of his house. Just as in Jane Eyre, Rochester locks his insane wife Bertha in a room. Remember? A servant named Grace Poole keeps an eye on her, although Grace is a heavy drinker. So here, let me tell you, Grace is a heavy drinker. Grace is paid a lot of money by the husband to keep an eye on Antoinette. But Grace keeps on drinking, okay? The narration now switches to Antoinette's consciousness. She's basically unconscious because she has no sense of time or place. She does not even know that she's in England. One day, her stepbrother comes to meet her. You know, Mr. Mason has a son, Richard Mason. So Richard Mason comes to meet her. But then, you know, uh, Essa Grace tells her that you actually tried to kill him with a knife. But then she remembers nothing. She often steals the keys from Grace when she's drunk. And she explores the rest of the house at night. Remember, she's locked in the attic. But at night, she goes around the house with a candle in her hand, exploring the house. Does this make White Sargasso see also a gothic fiction? It is feminist. It is postmodern. It is postcolonial novel. It is so much all in one. Now let's talk about the novel's end. How does White Sargasso see end? One night, onto an air dreams. This is a dream, okay? One night, Antoinette dreams that she takes a candle, sets fire to the house, sits out on the roof and watches it burn just like the fire at Calibri. In this dream, she hears the husband calling to her for help. When she wakes up, she wakes up from her dream, she actually lights a candle. Antoinette actually lights a candle, walks down into the house, filled with a sense of purpose. Will she be able to burn the house or not? We don't know because the novel ends. And we are done with White Sargasso Sea with Jean Reese. I hope you loved it just as I did. If you loved it, do subscribe to our channel and let me tell you, share it with all your friends and relatives who are literature enthusiasts, who love English just like us at Teen Test. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.